And here is where we get to talk about 5D mystics, functional adults, and enlightenment soul age people in their relationships. So when you have securely attached people, you're going to have a consistent love warrior. So you're going to have a person who knows how to maintain the tango. They don't run off. They don't do in and out behavior. There's no insecure attachment or trauma wounds. So when people project, and here's where there are groups, other soul age groups, so that people can keep learning about their self. Their self is the human baby they are, but they're too busy with stories, some people. It's not just the 43 d stories. No, some are busy with the externalization of aspects. And so we're going to leave that one alone because I was sharing before, but I want us to have fun in this one. And the tango, grown-up, secure attachment relationships, they're true love, which means unconditional, by the way. True love is unconditional. Oh, and it's not just one human being, meaning you don't have to have a tango actual dance and you don't even have to be in vicinity. You know, the beauty of being a mystic and the beauty of the plane of our oversoul is that. So when you have soul connections, it's not because I should use another word, but the energetic connection. So when you know you're going to expand consciousness with a person, you don't move away from them. You don't cancel them. You don't do all of the things that people who resist their own expansion. So it's very important to note trauma memory is not something fun. And so people who have insecure attachment and attachment wounds, that's why it's important for them and childhood trauma to learn about people like Patrick Tiahan, who teach them about codependent type relationships and how not to be in them, as well as how not to project your unfinished business from your own household onto people. So a secure person, that's why the Zen masters, we don't shame blame, we don't fault. When people do revenge or vindictiveness, we don't actually notice it that way, because what we'll notice is heartbreak, and maybe gut wrench, maybe torn apart. It's the actual shame, the effectiveness. It's the body that has hell going on inside, but you know, when you numb yourself with alcohol, drugs, sex, food, compulsive behaviors, self-soothing mechanisms, some ruminate all day long, it's a very painful business to be in a body that has hell. And 4D is very much, unfortunately, doing a disservice when they talk about this whole spiritual warfare because there is nothing like that. What I'm happy to know is there's 5D educators and the good scientific methodology people and the good mental health people who are out there, like Patrick Tiahan, who's a therapist now that he's a healed childhood trauma survivor and he creates a community and he spells out how not to go to work in the morning with your fight response activated i'm going to beat up bill because if he looks at me so the movies make a survival response yours we all have it but makes it look normal and here's where when a 4d person says I'm going to coach you on your spirituality awakening and let me tell you about how your survival mode blocks you from your spirituality awakening. You can't get rid of your nervous system. And really, if you're going to treat your fight response like it's a block, it's not really a good thing because we do need our defense mechanism. So equanimity is the land of truth because it's a land that says you have a survival nervous system mode. Learn how to use your nervous system. And if you learn about the mammalian heritage of yours, your ventral vagal state, but you also learn about how a restorative embodied self. And to get here, if you have modulated or dysregulated, there's a reason. And if your nervous system organized itself, which it did in your first year of your, of, of your life, alongside your brain, the right side, the left side goes online, I believe it's after that one year mark, and then it begins to develop at two or three, I forget the specifics, but the brain people, the good brain science people, no. So people who want a story, they're going to go, oh, I want the guy or the gal or the person who tells me that people are assholes the way I want him or her or they to tell me so that I can have my group. And they have their silver back leader and they got their group. And there you have what is a person who doesn't have a sense of self yet. They don't have an identity in here. No, no, they have an identity out there. And it's their silver back leader that found the very sweet pain point all the areas that they could grow up inside, the charged ones. And they're going to go battle some other group. And that's what you get to see. Separation consciousness is simply put people who have different opinions. The difference is some of us, we don't care to battle different opinions. We know when the world is going through transformation, 
uh, educated people are going to make sense. Why? Because the grown-ups know how to talk, even passionately, but they don't get into the charge of their survival mode, which the frontal lobes get push down when you're in your survival safety behavior mode and that lovely neuroplastic agent imagination and just neuroplasticity ain't going to be used to expand and or work on your integration of the brain no no it's going to work on your amygdala and then your amygdala is going to be enlarged and it overrides your frontal lobe so your adult self you may never know of it because you'll always be leading with an alert 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 i'm in danger so when people are in each other's business with drama They're actually not the adults that they could be. If instead of trying to manage your time, this is said, Guru, you clearly set your priorities, time will arrange itself around you. What happens within us, he says, is never determined by what is happening around us, but unfortunately, we link it to what is happening around us. Okay, so his quotes are beautiful, but here's where when stuff happens around you, the first place that you are active from is here so if you don't know how your one-year-old or your two-year-old organized itself you won't know how to handle the emotions that arise if you have attachment wounds or trauma memory your emotional body is going to be most likely disconnected which means you don't have an in-depth relationship you have no intimacy with the first place that is your home then there's the external world And that's where your unfinished business is. And if you're a smart person, you look at your home and you're like, wait a minute, I'm playing out my story with people. And if you're smart, it's because you care to be a version of yourself that you've seen, that you've decided. And really all people want to be respectful to each other. It's how much do you want to be respectful to another, which is why, as Patrick Tiahan points out, People who hurt people who hurt people or people who play games but they don't know they are and that would be people who have unresolved trauma who don't take their own actions to heart or their own mouths. This is where I've seen it a lot. So for securely attached people, I was a kid and I began noticing inconsistencies. I got to be a teenager and there I was like, wow, they're all inconsistent. And then I got to be an older adult and... Lo and behold, it's not about enlightenment needing to be in a spirituality practice, no. It's a conscious human being who can be very much aware of not copying the movies. If Bill looks at me one more time, I'm going to beat him up. I've never found it humorous. Personally, I found it a very ill use of your emotions, of your mouth, of your brain. But hey, I'm the woo-woo lady who has pink-tainted glasses and sunshine. So there's that for you. Okay, the part about time. (laughs) If instead of trying to manage your time, you clearly set your priorities, you know, like the flat earthers, they're spending their time with thinking about the earth and how it's flat. I do wonder how much time they spend. (laughs) But anyways, the time one was not meant to be read, but I'm trying to see if we can allocate it. Time will arrange itself around yourself. Hmm. Well, just managing your time. You got 24 hours. In the meantime, when we get to manage those 24 hours right here, we will get to spend some time doing things we want, other times doing things we don't want and pouting about it like three-year-olds. So I get to pout every now and then. I'm sure you do too. But the beauty of those relationships where we're pouting (laughs) is that we have the family, friend dynamic, and friends and partner partners So today we have a lot more going on for relationships thanks to attachment researchers and trauma therapists, the good ones. The good ones help you to move into your securely attached body, help you to know not to be ashamed of your trauma history and that it's of course normal that you get flashbacks and have flashbacks and that you can have compulsive self-soothing mechanisms. So destigmatizing all aspects that are actually good information for being human 101 is what a securely attached 5d mystic functional adult in the enlightenment soul age group will want to do our relationships are important because your first intimate relationship is here but your next intimate relationship is with i and that's why the somatic empath the unconditionally loving person the 5d mystic is the zen master like in the zen tradition story because we're not going to be judging the compulsive people or the non-disciples so the adaptive children we're going to be a safe home for those who want to expand consciousness and then that spreads and then we share informative education even if it's sometimes the pseudoscience or woo-woo stuff it doesn't matter so our oversoul it's the entire human 
globe and beyond, but you also have an immediate one. Treat each other with kindness and compassion and tune in for more.